couldn't do these live streams, but uh, we're getting back into them now and I've got a really interesting news update for you guys. This one here is around the uh, announcement of Ada Mail. And this is a really cool utility and use case for crypto that I didn't really think about. And I did a little bit of more digging into it and actually already exists on other chains. But we'll have a look at exactly what we're talking about here. And this was an announcement from uh, here at this account here, Ada Mail. And they're bringing in the ability to send uh, emails or direct messaging to various wallets. So they're using the stake key of each individual wallet and you can send a message directly to it. Now this is a really, really good use case and utility in that um, now anyone with a wallet uh, or a product, uh, me as business, I can send you directly a uh, email communication. And this is really big and powerful, like uh, other Web2 platforms, Spotify, for example, uh, just one, one example, can't send an email from the music artist to that particular person that is listening to their music. So this, this is a really good and interesting way of being able to engage and bring at, uh, that higher and granular level of communication uh, to your users. So. This is hugely powerful. Of course, uh, there's going to be people that are going to spam and abuse the platform and systems. But if it's going to cost you to send or sign the transaction or something like that, people are going to think about it. So it, it's a, a cost factor there. But uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how this one, one uh, plays out. So what exactly is it? So a simple combination of email with Cardano allows you to send uh, emails to every wallet address, which is hugely, hugely powerful. So they're going to use the stake key. So you're going to have something like a, your, your long stake key at adamail.me. And I believe uh, there was a way to customize that and use vanity URLs. Uh, I, there was also integrations with Ada Handle. So you'd be able to use your handle at adamail.me. So I think that's really cool. It gives another use case and utility to Ada Handles as well. So if you're already in the Ada Handle ecosystem, which I know a lot of people in the Ada community is at the moment, you'd be able to use that as your email address. So I'll, I'll have something like astroboysoup at adamail.me. How cool is that? Now we'll go down a little bit further. Who's behind this collaboration? Uh, two really powerful partners, NMaker and IMX. IMX, for those that don't know, um, build uh, digital identities, the DIDs within the ecosystem. Uh, they're one DID provider. They have um, KYC Spider, which is uh, a, a back, uh, a chain, not a chain, a third party service that do the KYC process for them. Uh, so they're a full, uh, full compliant service. They do it for banks. And NMaker, of course, a lot of people know them. They power uh, over 33% of the NFT projects in the Cardano ecosystem. So it's a, a really cool uh, to know that these two powerhouses are building this platform. Now here you'll be able to sign and encrypt the emails and wallets uh, from uh, your sending, uh, connect your digital identity so you can prove who you are when you're actually sending those emails and uh, send email newsletters and whatnot. So that's, be a, that, that's that level of engagement that you can have between a project and your holders of your NFT project or token or whatever it is. So it's pretty cool that you can do that. Now, the, there's a whole lot of other things here on this Twitter thread. Uh, when it's pretty soon, they're saying, when I thought about this, um, and how they would actually implement it, I, it's actually not too hard, uh, especially um, when you sit down and think about it deeply. Uh, it's uh, all Web2 infrastructure, and all it is is the wallets, the SIP30 wallets signing and uh, confirming the thing. So you're just using the existing Web2 infrastructure and be able to connect to it. So it's not that bad in terms of implementation. So I, I'm, I'll, I'll be very interested to see how quickly these guys can bring it up. Now there is a more detailed blog post um, from NMaker that talks about this as well. And it pretty much goes through the same stuff, but um, here is the access and how we can actually uh, use this service. So they have three levels, three tiers of access. They have the base pass, which gets you one year access and uh, the 500 meg of storage, plus your email address. Your uh, gold pass, which is your email address there, unique um, alias as well. So you'd probably want that alias and then that 500 meg of storage, one year access, and then your handle pass with more details coming soon. Uh, just, uh, they forgot the number three here in the um, ordered list, but that's okay. 
Now, the other th interesting thing here is the utility behind NMaker tokens and IMX token holders. So they do have something planned for NMaker um, and IMX token holders. They don't go into it yet. Um, I fortunately do have tokens in both of those platforms. I've been collecting them from staking with the NMaker team and also staking with the IMX team. So that whole ISPO factor is is working out for me. So I'll, I'll be able to use those tokens for whatever they have planned in their ecosystem. So I'm pretty excited about that. Now, just checking on the live stream chat. So hi there, Ben Miguel from Cabo. And uh, good to see everyone else in the live stream as well. Now, this whole idea of encrypted and signed emails isn't new. Uh, if you go back a little bit further, there's a thing called PGP or pretty good pretty good privacy encryption. And you know, this has been around since uh, as long as I've been using the internet, so 1991. And it's a way to be, be able to sign a piece of information such as an email and say that it is from me. So this is just an evolution of all that. And we also have uh, Open PGP, which is a protocol used for encrypting emails and signing those emails. So this, uh, I, I used this in the early days of the web and I thought it was pretty cool, but then no one else really used it. Um, probably because it was too clunky, a little bit uh, um, inconvenient to use, but having it with a Web3 wallet, being able to click sign and just sign a password before you send something is really powerful. And I think it's pretty cool. Now, looking into the space in terms of competitors and who else is actually doing this already, um, ETH, Ether Mail, so obviously it's on the Ethereum chain, already does this. So reimagining web, uh, reimagining email for Web3, and they've got this uh, product that they've already um, got uh, in the hands of many, many people. So uh, it's a bit of a uh, competition uh, now to see what chain it will work on. Obviously, if it's Ethermail, um, it wouldn't be primarily just Ethereum, but probably use Polygon and other side chains uh, to reduce those fees if there's a cost factor in signing those emails or sending out emails en masse. Uh, of course, uh, there's other cost factors in be able to pick up um, data and syncing from different chains to get to, uh, to an understanding of who's holding what NFT projects or whatever it is. Uh, but it's pretty you know, simple process because there's all those APIs and infrastructure out there in the Ethereum space to do it. There's also another competitor here called MailChain and they're doing it all um, within the ecosystem too. You can see here they've got inboxes and the various different uh, wallet addresses that they have there and they can check which one has uh, messages. So you can see here, um, it's got two messages, click on that wallet address, read your messages or compose new things. So it's nothing completely revolutionary, uh, but I do love the use case and utility and it's really good to see that it's being brought out onto the Cardano blockchain too. So guys, let me know what you think. This is a pretty cool and unique use case, I love it. Um, I, I, I love what the team at uh, NMaker and IMX are doing for the crypto space and for the Cardano blockchain. And I would really love to get my hands on this one and start playing around with it. Now, if you enjoyed this quick episode, this quick news update, please give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click on the notification bell, really helps with the channel, especially with these live streams. You really gotta press those thumbs up to get the visibility of these live streams out there.